Good morning, and welcome to another episode of Faith, Family, and Fly Ass Food. So, I wanted to let you all know that the purpose of my channel is to basically invite you into my world, first and foremost. I am a divine goddess sent here to be here in this time to empower the sisterhood, to remind women how to be women, and to usher us into the new earth, to help you recognize um, attitudes, thought processes, and programs of old earth so you can let them go and walk into your new earth consciousness. So that's why I'm here. And if you like my videos, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment. Um, I would really like to know where you are, your thought processes. Um, I would like to know if you're on the same page of understanding, you know, or if you um, are in a whole nother place. If you don't agree with where I'm coming from, um, leave a comment. Um, it, it just helps everything go so much smoother. So again, my name is Soul, and this is a part of Soul's World. And today I wanted to talk about this idea that it is okay for women and black women in particular, because that's what I am. So that's my, that's my center. That's where I'm always coming from. That black women think it is okay to call themselves and each other bitches. Um, it's not okay. And it's definitely not something that is going to resonate with the new earth consciousness. And it's something that needs to shift and change. And I believe it also that it's something that a lot of younger sisters in the 20s and 30s realm have been indoctrinated into that um, behavior based on um, rap music, um, what goes on in the entertainment world, um, this idea of boss bitching and bad bitching, like that's a good thing. Well, I want to just remind us that a bitch is a female dog. Dog consciousness is in exact opposition to God consciousness. This is why when you flip the words around, Flip the letters around. One says God. The opposite says dog. That's why we refer to this world that we're living in as a dog eat dog world. But it seems like um, we've allowed ourselves. To me, as a black woman, the most disrespectful, insulting thing you can actually call me is a dog. And the women of my era... That's our thought process. I don't even understand how you're okay with calling yourself a bitch, calling your, your, your sister friends bitches. Them bitches. Oh, bitch, we bitching, bitches. Yeah, it's not cute. It's not cute at all. It's very low vibrational. It's very energy draining. You, um, I think <clears throat> as I, you know, meditated on this, you know, before I chose to spoke on it, I think one of the reasons why as well that we think it's okay to do that is how we have, we as a black, uh, culture, um, have allowed ourselves to transform the word, the N word, um, from being something derogatory to being what we consider as a term of endearment, even though I don't consider that as a term of endearment either. You know, I can respect it as a term and as, as a term of endearment that others use in their way, because I can see how their heart resonates when they say these words in certain companies and certain atmospheres and that sort of thing. But the word is still a very negative, it's a slur, it's a negative derogatory term that has been used against us as black people in America. And, um, but this word bitch, I'm sorry, it does not get a pass. It does not get a pass. 
N-word don't really get a pass either. It's just that <clears throat> it's such a collective mindset at this point that it, it can't be stopped. But I um, just ask that my sisters wake up, especially if you place yourself on the realm as being a child of God, especially if you place yourself in a position of being a goddess, being a queen. Um, how can you be a goddess and a, and, a, and a dog at the same time? How can you be a queen and a, and a dog at the same time? Um, they're polar opposites. And I'm praying for the moment that we're going to stop calling ourselves this. And then I think there's a, a sector of us that want to empower ourselves with badness <laughs> by calling ourselves bad bitches and, and, and boss bitches and, you know, stuff like that. It's, it's not acceptable. It's not doable. I would never, ever, ever call myself that or call my sister friends that um, in jest, in playfulness, or anything ever is too derogatory, it's too low vibrational, and it needs to stop. It's sickening. It's sickening to our souls. We're contributing to the downfall of our own people, of our own community, by calling ourselves bitches. Because then there's a behavior that comes with a the bitch. There's an attitude, and there's a a, a whole set of language that comes with bitch mode. And it's all negative. It's all low vibrational. It's all uh, a downgrading us. And then we get upset when a man calls you a bitch. Well, you've been, you know, even though they started it, the rap music, the gangster rap movement started calling us bitches and hoes. And now we're calling ourselves bitches and hoes. And then as soon as somebody else call us a bitch or a hoe, we get an attitude, we get mad. You know, we want to fight. We want to do all these low vibrational things because that's what low vibrational activities and word sound attracts and manifests. So I'm asking that we stop this. Because those of us that are moving into the new earth consciousness, it is not acceptable. And you will not be able to survive on the new earth referring to yourself as bitch. Put, putting yourself into bitch mode. No, those, that's the lower dregs of society. That's where the niggas hang out. That's where the griminess goes on. That's where the low vibrational dirt of the earth and the culture exists and if you choose to stay there okay that's a choice and you may if you choose but then you're going to have to deal with all the things that come along with it and so i'm here to help you understand the importance of using your words in a powerful sense because our words are power in the beginning was the word and the word was god and the word made manifest and what you put out into the universe is going to come back to you. And that includes all of your words because your words belong to you. And the words that you put out into the universe are going to just boomerang out and come right back to you. So if you do not want to be a dog, if you do not want to get left behind, leave behind that word because you are bigger than that. You are better than that. You are more beautiful than that. God did not manifest you into being a dog. You are a divine, blessed, and beautiful being that is gifted with all sorts of gifts and talents that you are to manifest here on this plane of existence that is to uplift and empower our species. And being the mother of civilization as a black woman, come on, you got to understand the power that you have. Let us stop using this word, bitch. Let's understand that a bitch is a dog. It's a dog mentality. It's a dog, eat dog behavior. It's a dogish action. And if that's not what you're trying to draw and manifest into your life, then just stop using that. Stop calling yourself that. Stop referring to your sister friends as that. 
Don't use it in your music. Stop using that. It's not who we are. We know who the dogs of this reality are. We know who they are. The dog eat dog people who go around and rape and rob and pillage in the, the lands and the properties and the resources and the cultures of indigenous people. Those are the dogish ones, not us. We are divine. We are beautiful. We are lovely. We are sweet. We are kind. We are good. We are blessed. We are God. We are children of gods. We are not children of dogs. So let's just stop it. Thanks for visiting.